start of a pretty monumental week, I guess. How how are the initial feelings at the moment? Just uh, very excited. Obviously, all the lads haven't joined up yet with boys having games yesterday, but there's already a, a buzz in the camp with, with all the lads that are here. There's been this momentum growing in, in the last few camps, but because of what could be achieved this week, is, is it a different kind of mentality, a different kind of pressure, perhaps? Yeah, of course there's pressure. It's an opportunity we've not had for a good number of years. But we're, we're still early in the week and we only really met up last night, so we've not, not been on the training pitch and it's still still quite relaxed just now. Mm. I mean, you were unfortunate to be missing out last month. What, From what you saw of the team watching them and from what you've experienced in the last kind of couple of camps, do you feel that this team is ready to grasp the chance? No, definitely. I thought the, perf the three performances last month were absolutely excellent. Um, I really enjoyed watching the games. We were solid at the back, but carried a threat, a threat going forward, which it was almost the, the perfect team performances. And I guess, I mean, this is, as you said, this is not something that comes along very often. So with that, I mean, the opportunity to make a bit of history and, and lift the nation's spirits. How, how much do you guys all buy into that idea? No, of course we do. We want it, uh, want it from for everyone else just as much as we want it for ourselves. Um, of course, it'll be absolutely massive, but we, we can't get too caught up in it all. Obviously, we're aware of what's at stake, but we can't let that affect the performance. As a manager, make, do you expect him to make a point of trying to keep your feet on the ground? Yeah, I'd imagine he would. He always does. He's, he's very calm himself, so he won't let us get too, too, too emotionally involved. The fact that you did miss out um, last month, do you, how difficult do you think it's going to be for you to get back into that starting eleven? Because the guys who played obviously produced three clean sheets. Yeah, very difficult. When defenders are, are keeping clean sheets, I don't think they'll expect to get taken out of the team. Um, but I'm just I'm just delighted to be back involved. It was it was hard missing out on last month on injury and watching in, but I was still in the, the group chat with the lads and I was absolutely delighted for them all. What do you make of the attacking threat that, that Serbia have? And we all know what Milinkovic Savic can do. Is that something you, you'd relish playing up against guys like that? Yeah, of course you've got to. Um, that's why we play football, to test ourselves against the the top, top players, and uh, I'm sure anyone that's playing on Thursday night will, will be looking forward to it. I imagine going to Serbia in normal times with a, a full crowd would be fairly daunting. Do you think you can get an advantage by the fact you're, you're going there, you're not going to have that, that hostile atmosphere? Yeah, it'll still be a very difficult game, but um, I think with, with no home crowds, it has kind of levelled out a bit for a lot of teams. Um, but, of course, we still know how hard it'll be. Even the kind of lower key build up, I suppose, to a game that really has huge importance. Does that help a wee bit as well? Just keep things on the down low. Yeah, maybe it will. Well, hopefully it will, and hopefully we can go across and, and still get a positive result, or the result we all want. Um, but of course, COVID has impacted the way preparations are. But we've dealt with it the last couple of camps, and I'm sure we'll do that again. Do you feel there's been a big shift in in how everyone feels and the mentality in the camp as, as things have gone along under Steve Clark? Yeah, definitely, and especially in the back of the, the last camp, it can only be positive getting getting three big wins, and I, I think it's absolutely perfect going into the game with all that that momentum and the feel good factor in the camp and and in the in the country as a whole. I feel like the performances in those games was really just a culmination of, of what the manager has been trying to do and, and the time he's been in charge, and that was it. You know, really all coming together. Yeah, of course. When you come when you come in as a manager of a national team. It must be difficult because you only get a few days to work with us to try and get across what, what you want us to do. And sometimes if we do one thing well, at the other end of the pitch it might not be going so well. So when everything clicks, and which it appeared to do last uh, last month and the performances were excellent, I think that's just, just what the manager wanted. Is that the hope that it all seems to be clicking just at the right time? Yeah, hopefully. Especially just for, as I said, building the momentum and the feel-good factor. There's nothing better than that as a player when you feel confident and, and the full squad feels confident and uh, going out on the pitch feeling the best you can. You talked about the clean sheets that the guys got in the last camp, but the fact that they were so good defensively, do you relish that challenge of coming up against these guys in, in, in training and, and trying to stake your play? Yeah, of course you do, but um, being part of the squad, you just want to push and you want the best for everyone, so um, whoever's playing will, will be doing their best to to try and help us qualify and it's up to the rest of the lads that aren't playing as well to be there to support them and push them as hard as we can. Would you expect to be quite busy or whoever's whoever's playing? Is this a, a game where the defence is going to be 
critical to, to Scotland's chances? Yeah, of course it is in every game in, in international football. And uh, they do have a, a good front line and one that uh, one that you'd be very wary of. But there's absolutely no reason why we why we can't stop them. There's one or two Serbian players who may or may not have trouble getting over there. I'm guessing you're going to ignore all that. Are you expecting to, to line up against, if not their best team, then a team full of top class players? Yeah, I would say we need to prepare to be playing against their, their best their best team. I think even last month when we were missing a few players, you've seen how well we played, so we, we can't read into that too much. And since moving south, have you got a wee different perspective on, on the game up here? Maybe international football as well as the, the domestic game in terms of the, the standard that you guys are at just now, the standard that the Scotland team is at, the, the length of games you've gone without losing? Yeah, the, the, Scot the training here when you, when you come up, it's... It's absolutely excellent. Everything's one and two touch. We've got players playing at the, the top of the Engli English Premiership, the top of the Scottish Premiership, and everyone's playing at a great standard. And it's it's a very, 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 very challenging in training. The tempo they get to to try and get to that. So in terms of this game, is there any reason why Scotland can't go and get the result that, that you all want? No, I, I can't see any reason, especially on the back of last month, why we why we can't go and get the result everyone wants. Does it feel different at all? Can you give us an example? I mean, have you had more messages, more folk getting in touch? Um, does the build-up feel any any different at all? Uh, not yet. As I say, we only met up last night, and a lot of us, well, some lads played yesterday, so it's still, it's still early days. But I'm sure as the week goes on, that there will be that slightly different feeling as we build up. Scott, do you feel even after just a couple of months in England, do you feel more confident given that you've you seem to have done well there, scored a goal, got a few wins as well? Yeah, no, I just I think it doesn't matter. Where you're playing, I think if you're winning games and being part of good team performances, you're always going to feel confident. But obviously, to to go down and play as many games as I have in such a short period of time, it's it's a real confidence booster for me. You obviously, have to change your manager as well. Was that obviously a bit difficult after you just signed as well? The manager change, but you've, you've proved yourself as a established yourself in the Chris Hutton side as well. Yeah, it's obviously difficult when you go in and there's a, a change of manager so soon. But um, Chris Hutton's came in and uh, he showed faith in me and played me, which again just uh, gives me more confidence. And obviously one of the, the players you're competing with for Thursday is somebody you know really well, Andy Constantine, who did really well when he, he came in. How pleased were you to see him get his chance? I, I couldn't have been any happier for Andy. Obviously I played probably nearly all my games at Aberdeen, nearly 100 games next to Andy, whether it was at left back or, or centre back, and the help he gave me even since I've been a kid coming through the academy at Aberdeen. Um, he helped me so much, so I couldn't have been any happier for him and I couldn't wait to, to text him when I, when I heard the news. What, what kind of help did he give you coming through? Just even when I, when I was set on, in, set on into the team, having that experience next to me, that any time that I made a mistake, he was, he was there to clear up for me, or even the, the bits of information he gave me on the pitch, it, it helped me massively and I've no doubt that Andy played a, a massive part in getting, getting me to where I am just now. Seemed a lot of Aberdeen fans have been, you know, campaigning for years for, for him to get his chance for Scotland. It, it seemed to be one of the most kind of you know, well received international call ups. Do you, do you think that was just a testament to his attitude and his, his consistency over the years as well? Yeah, he'll struggle struggled to find a, a better professional than Andy. He's uh, he's so regimented in everything he does. He doesn't change much at all and that's probably why at the age he is, he never misses a training session, never misses any games. And I think the, the two games that he played last month for Scotland shows it exactly why everyone was, was campaigning for him to get that call-up. It's strange then to be maybe going up against him for that, that place maybe. In the, is that just part of the, you know, you've been playing with him for years, I suppose you were used to that as well. Yeah, no, it's obviously just good to be both of us away here and, and both try to push everyone in the squad for, for that place in the start of him. Scott, as if there wasn't enough competition for places amongst the actual defenders, you've got a, a converted midfield player coming back. What have you made of uh, Scott McTominay, and, and how hard is it to to kind of change your game or adapt to, to kind of go further further back for for international football? I think Scott's playing at a, a high enough level that when he does need to drop back, he knows exactly what he needs to do. And I think that as use of the ball at times has been absolutely brilliant when he's stepping out. Obviously, having being a normal midfielder, more comfortable on the ball, and when he does step out, his use, his use of the ball has been excellent. Like in fear of making everyone else in the room sound a bit old, you won't remember, I have a limited memory of Scotland being <laughs> in a major tournament. <laughs> Watching World Cups and European Championships over the years and, and seeing those occasions without Scotland, and just how special would that be if, if you were able to be in the squad that, that helped them get there and, and be a part of that? 
That would be very special, obviously, I think. Was it the, the last European Championships that all the home nations were there apart from Scotland? So, um, obviously, hopefully, we can be there this time. And it would just, I think it would be a proud moment for absolutely everyone in the squad and just for the whole country, it would be a great boost for everyone.